<laughs> hey guys and gals, it's Ragnarok. Uh, while I was looking into the matter, I had the idea uh, to make a tutorial video explaining how to capture lossless game footage uh, using open, bar the open broadcast software at a high frame rate, uh, aka 60 frames per second and above. I don't know why you would record above. Uh, I don't think YouTube allows it. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, with a minimal uh, CPU load so that you can still enjoy your games uh, while recording locally. You can't stream doing that, but you can record locally. All right, so let's get into it, shall we? The first thing I want to do is give credit to the person who deserves it, namely user AOD Badass Motherfucker on Reddit for creating this guide. It's all well explained in text with images and whatnot, uh, if you want to follow this guide, you can use the link in the description and it will get you there. The first step is to go to obsproject.com and download the application. Click the annotation in the lower left corner to get directed to it. OBS is a free application, useful to record locally or stream your games with a lot of plugins, for example, Twitch Alerts. Uh, which notifies you when someone follows, donate, or subscribe to your channel. Once you have installed OBS, um, if you also plan on streaming, you'll need different settings. So go ahead and make a different profile. Now that this is done, head on over to the encoding tab and change your bitrate to something insane like 1 gigabit per second. Uh, this, is act this is not actually what it's going to record at it's just like a virtual limit that it could potentially go to uh, even if you record at 4k 60 fps it won't reach that as for the audio bitrate uh, select the maximum which is 220 kilobit per second once you're done move down a tab to the broadcast settings and select file output only uh, then select the location in which you want to record ideally you will record your footage on a different hard drive or SSD than the one you use for games so that uh, the write speeds are not becoming a bottleneck. Uh, please note that you will require a lot of disk space for this. And now go to the video tab to select the right resolution for your monitor. Try to maintain a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. If you don't, uh, videos on YouTube and Twitch and whatnot will have black bars either on the sides or on the top and bottom, and that sucks. Now select the advanced tab, hit the check mark on custom x264 encoder settings, and then put the following without space in the text box below, QP equals zero. We're using this instead of RCF equals zero because it's not entirely lossless, and will it you, your processor harder than QP equals zero? Select the ultra fast preset in uh, X264 CPU presets. It will reduce your CPU load. Uh, now that you're done, that's pretty much it. And now all that's left is just to apply, set up your scenes so you can record properly with like the camera and whatnot. And that's it. All right, guys, this is it for the video. Uh, if you liked it, like it, uh, subscribe, share it, whatever. Uh, if you didn't like it, thumbs down, I guess. And I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. And yes, by the way, you might be asking, wondering, what is that? Well, it is a fridge. I had to remove the door to pass it in the, the, the doorway. Anyway, i see you guys next time. Toodles.